Hi, how are you doing? Welcome to this video, to this channel. And uh, in this video, we'll do another example of uh, application of Newton um, action. And we are told, find an iterative formula to find root of n, where n is a positive root number. Hence, find root 17 correct root for the same process. Uh, this is how we go about it. Of course, the root that we want to find is a solution or is a zero of a function f of x. So we have to start by creating a function f of x. And how do we go about that? We are going to say that root or that solution of the function of f of x is the root of the positive number n. If you square both sides, you get x squared is equal to n. Now we can write x squared minus n is equal to 0. So that now we have our function of x is equal to x squared minus n. So that function of x n now become x squared n minus n. The first derivative of the function of x n now become 2 x n. If we now Substitute that in the Newton action formula. Uh, you can say Newton action. Action formula states. We know that a better approximation to the root of a function of x, that is xn plus 1, is equal to the previous approximation minus. The function of the previous approximation over the first derivative of that function. If it's now substitute in the formula, we have n xn plus 1 is equal to xn minus what is our function of xn? It is x squared n uh, is for n minus capital N. All over the, that derivative, which is 2xn. Two two xn. If we now go ahead and simplify that, we we'll say xn n plus 1. What is the LCM? The LCM is 2xn. Remember, this is over 1. So it's 2xn divided by 1 into 2xn. Uh, so we take that 2xn, we multiply with xn. And then minus 2xn divided by 2xn is 1. So here we are going to multiply that value with 1. It is x squared n minus n. We have xn plus 1 is equal to 2x squared n minus x squared n plus n all over 2xn. It now becomes x squared n plus n all over 2xn. Take root. Now substituting substituting n is equal to 1, um, n is equal to 17, we we'll say x1 is equal to x0 squared plus n all over 2 x0. But then we do not have an initial approximate. We don't have an initial approximate. Let's say root of 17 x naught. You can just guess. Let us guess, guess a value. You know root of 16 is equal to 4. So probably it's something slightly bigger than 4. But let us just start with 4 or 4.5. Let us start with 4.5. We just assume the root of 17 is 4.5. We are not sure about that. We are just trying. It's just a guess, initial approximate. So we we'll say now x1 
which is our first approximant, is equal to 4.5 squared plus n, but n is 17, plus 17 all over 4.5 2 times 4.5 uh, this one I'll be a bit slow, I have not worked it out, I'm just trying to work it out. So it's 4.5 squared plus 17. This is that 3, that 7.25, whereby 4.5 times 2 is 9, whereby 9, that is the 4.1. We are supposed to give correct for the some places are we working with six, one, three, eight, 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 nine. So I'm working with six, I prefer working with more so that I'm I convert faster. Now what is X2? Uh, X2, we now take n is equal to one. Right? X2 will be the previous approximate, uh, which is X1 squared plus 17 all over 2 times the previous approximate which is x1 so x1 which now becomes 4.13 Eight nine square plus seventeen, which is simply my answer square. Answer square plus seventeen. Thirty four. Thirty four point one three zero four zero four over. I think now you can say 2 times 4.138889, which is equal to 8.2, point, 8.2777778. So now that we have x2 is equal to, I'll just say, 34.130 Let us call this page 34.130 Divided by answer Which is equal to 4 4.123135 one, two, three, and three, five. So, so far, correct how many decimal places, correct one decimal place. Now, x3 is equal to x2 squared plus 17 or over 2 x2. This is equal to 4.123. 4.123135 one, squared plus 17 or over 2 times 4.123135 one, which will give us I use the answer key and you will avoid as much as possible to enter values in the calculator so I'll say answer squared now 17, which is 34, point zero 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 two four six divided by, then I'll say the same value, which is 2 times 4.123, uh, which is 
four six two seven. So I'll say that the four point zero 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 two four six divided by answer is equal to is uh, four point one two three one. 1, 2, 3, 1, 0, 6. So far, correct how many decimal places? 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So far, we are correct to 3 decimal places. We still have to uh, go on another step extra. So, what about x4? x4 must be uh, x3 squared plus 17 all over 2x3, which is equal to. 4.123 106 squared plus 17 over 2 times 4.123 106 so now this becomes um, that is answer squared plus 17 which is 34 Point how many zeros? One, two, three, four, five. And then we have three, eight. I'm trying to use as many decimal places as possible so that it can converge as quickly as possible. If you keep on loading off values, it may not converge as quickly as you want, which is uh, eight point two four six eight point. Two four six two one two for faster convergence. I encourage you not to keep on loading of values because by rounding off actually you are diverging. Then finally I have it is x4 is four point one two three one zero six um exactly like the previous one actually we have converged correct in six decimal places but we only require to converge i mean to give answer correct four decimal places so i'll say it's 4.1 2 3 1 that is our answer correct four decimal places but of course you are working correct with six decimal places you can see at least if you are told Give your answer correct four decimal places, at least you must work with at least five decimal places. And that's how it will converge. Let's see what we will get if we have to get root of 17 directly from the calculator. Uh, root of 17, if you have to work out that directly from the calculator, it is 4.123106, correct four decimal, six decimal places, as we have done it, but we only require to give correct two. For the same places. So that's how we go about it. Uh, remember always uh, leave your question on the channel comments. Uh, tell me which institution you study from, uh, which videos you'd like me to make. If you have brothers, sisters in high school, encourage them to watch my career guidance videos. I have quite a number of career guidance videos. Also, encourage your students from other schools to use my videos. They will be really helpful. Especially for guys out there who have who got some class back in mathematics, the videos have been very helpful to them. And actually, that's why I've resumed creating mathematics videos. Uh, because for quite some time I've not been creating uh, mathematics videos, but I've decided to resume after rearranging a lot of people are, are benefiting from the uh, YouTube videos, especially those who have class. Support the channel. Remember to watch the advertisements as you watch my videos because that is how the channel is able to grow and create more content for you.